A question I get asked a lot is how do I zero my Alpex? So I thought I would do a quick step-by-step -step video to help. Once you've got the Alpex onto the rifle, there are a few things you're going to need to help aid you in zeroing it. You're going to need your choice of pellet, a pen, a rear rest, and of course the rifle which ideally has a bipod fitted to it. Get a large sheet of blank paper or cardboard with a little dot drawn in the middle set up and then put a couple of shots into the target. As you can see here, the two shots have hit low right. The next step is to enter the menu. Do this by doing a long press on the left turret. Now you have entered the menu, twist the turret to scroll through the menu until you highlight the reticule option. When reticule is highlighted, a quick single press of the left turret will enter the reticule setup. Again, twist the turret to scroll through the options. I like to zoom in a bit, but you don't have to. Scroll to the freeze option, and we want to freeze the image on the bullseye with a short press of the turret. This is where a rear rest really comes in handy. Twist and click to enter the X value. Twist the turret until you're in line with your original grouping. Press the turret again to enter the Y value. And again, twist the turret until the secondary reticule is bang on those shots. This is the most important bit and the most common issue. Remember this, long hold, scroll, OK, press. If you don't do this, all the zeroing values will be lost and you'll be starting again. Now we have saved the new values, a couple of shots at the bullseye will confirm the zero is exactly where we want it. I hope you have found this video useful. Feel free to get in contact if you have any issues. The Hit Micro Alpex are available in store and online if you desire to join the club. Thank you for watching.